sunlight shines above all he who oversteppeth the law shall be punished for only through law comes the freedom of men calls thou not fear for fear is a bondage and fetter that binds the darkness to men follow thine heart during thy lifetime do thou more than is commanded of thee when thou hast gained riches follow thou thine heart for all these are of no avail if thine heart be wary diminish thou not the time of following thine heart it is a ward of the soul they that are guided go not astray but they that are lost cannot find a straight path if thou go among men make for thyself love the beginning and end of the heart if one cometh unto thee for counsel let him speak freely that the thing for which he hath come to thee may be done if he hesitates to open his heart to thee it is because thou the judge doeth the wrong repeat thou not extravagant speech neither listen thou to it for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium speak thou not of it so that he before thee may know wisdom silence is of great profit and abundance of speech profiteth nothing exalt not thine heart above the children of men lest it be brought lower than the dust if thou be great among men be honored for knowledge and gentleness if thou seekest to know the nature of a friend ask not his companion but pass a time alone with him debate with him testing his heart by his words and his bearing that which goeth into the storehouse must come forth and the things that are thine must be shared with a friend knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance and the things that are profitable are to him hurtful he liveth in death it is therefore his food the wise man lets his heart overflow and keeps silent his mouth O oh man listen to the voice of wisdom listen to the voice of light Mysteries there are in the cosmos that unveiled filled the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness first divide the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends unto fire and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within himself shall ascend unto the eternal fire and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the inner fire, is the most potent of all force, for it overcometh all things and penetrates penetrates to all things of the earth. Man supports himself only on that which resists, the earth must resist man else he existeth not. All eyes do not see but the same vision, for to one an object appears of one form and colour, and to a different eye of another, so also the infinite fire, changing from colour to colour, is never the same from day to day. Thus speak I, thought of my wisdom, for a man is a fire, burning bright through the night, never is quenched in the veil of the darkness, never is quenched by the veil of the night. Into men's hearts I looked by my wisdom, found them not free from the bondage of strife, free from the toils thy fire, O oh my brother, lest it be buried in the shadow of night. Hark ye, O oh man, and list to this wisdom, where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, invisible, infinite force, of radiance bright, the forms that ye create by brightening their vision, are truly affects that follow thy cause. Man is a star, bound to a body, until in the end he is free through his strife. Only by struggle and toil in thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realm of the night. Remember, O oh man, that all which exists is only another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passing into yet other being, and thou thyself are not an exception. Consider the law, for all is law. Seek not that which is not of the law, for such exists only in the illusions of the senses. The key. to all her children even as they cometh unto wisdom all through the ages the light has been hidden awake old man and be wise
Deep in the mysteries of life have I travelled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. List ye, old man, and be wise. Far neath the earth crust in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. Oft have I journeyed the deep hidden passage, looked on the light that is life among men. There neath the flowers of life ever living, searched I the hearts and the secrets of men. Found I that man is but living in darkness, light of the great fire is hidden within. Before the lords of hidden Amenti, learned I the wisdom I give unto men. Masters are they of the great secret wisdom brought from the future of infinity's end. Seven are they, the lords of Amenti, overlords, they of the children of morning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom, formed or not, they as the children of men. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are the titles of the masters of men. Far from the future, formless yet forming, came they as teachers for the children of men. Live they forever, yet not of the living, bound not to life and yet free from death. Rule they forever with infinite wisdom, bound yet not bound to the dark halls of death. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life, free from all are the lords of the all. Forth from them came forth the low ghost instruments, they of the power of all. Vast is their countenance, yet hidden in smallness, formed by a forming long yet unknown. Three holds the key of all hidden magic, creator he of the walls of the dead, sending forth power shrouding with darkness, binding the souls of the children of men, sending the darkness, binding the soul force, director of negative to the children of men. For is he who looses the power, Lord he of life to the children of men. Light is his body, flame is his countenance, freer of souls to the children of men. Five is the master, the lord of all magic, key to the word that resounds among men. Six is the lord of light, the hidden pathway, path of the souls of the children of men. Seven is he who is lord of the vastness, master of space and the key of the times. Eight is he who orders the progress, ways and balances the journey of men. Nine is the father, vasty of countenance, forming and changing from out of the formless. Meditate on the symbols I give thee, keys are they, though hidden from men. Reach ever upward, O soul of the morning, turn thy thoughts upward to light and to life. Find in the keys of the numbers, I bring thee light on the pathway from life unto life. Seek ye with wisdom, turn thy thoughts inward, close not thy mind to the flower of light, place in thy body a thought formed picture, think of the numbers that lead thee to life, clear is the pathway to he who has wisdom, open the door to the kingdom of light, pour forth thy flame as a son of the morning, shut out the darkness and live in the day, take thee O man as part of thy being, the seven who are but are not as they seem, opened O man, have I my wisdom, follow the path in the way I have led, masters of wisdom, son of the morning, light and life to the children of men. Thank mm-hmm. you.